Welcome to RadiologyInfo.org. Hello, I'm Dr. Jay Pahade, a diagnostic radiologist at Yale New Haven Hospital in Connecticut. I'd like to talk to you about magnetic resonance imaging of the spine, also known as spine MRI. Spine MRI uses a powerful magnetic field, radio waves, and a computer to produce detailed pictures of the spine and surrounding tissues. It's often used to evaluate the structure and positioning of the vertebra that make up your back, to assess for spinal injury, to evaluate for nerve and disc problems, and to evaluate for arthritis. It can also be used to look at cancers involving the vertebra or spinal cord. MRI may be performed with or without a gadolinium-based contrast material. If contrast is required, it will be injected through your IV into a vein in your arm. If you're scheduled for a spine MRI, there are several things you can do to prepare. First, discuss any serious health problems, recent surgeries, and allergies, especially to gadolinium-based contrast material with your doctor. Also inform your doctor and the technologist if there's any possibility that you might be pregnant. Be sure to notify the MRI technologist if you have any medical devices or metal objects implanted in your body. These metal objects can interfere with the magnetic field of the MRI. The magnetic field itself is not harmful. However, some implanted devices may malfunction or cause problems during the exam. It's important to tell the technologist about any metal in your body when getting an MRI to make sure you can undergo the MRI safely. On the day of the exam, wear loose, comfortable clothing and leave any jewelry at home. You may be asked to wear a hospital gown. Most MRI exams are painless. Because the machine produces loud tapping and buzzing noises, you may be offered earmuffs, earplugs, or headphones to help reduce the sound. Spine MRI exams tend to take longer than other types of spine radiology tests and may last anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour. Some patients may find it uncomfortable to lie still for long periods, while others may be experience claustrophobia inside the MRI machine. If you have a concern, you may want to ask your doctor for a mild sedative to take prior to the exam. For more information about spine MRI, visit radiologyinfo.org. Thank you for your time.